We'll call the meeting to order. Please rise for prayer. <laughs> Dear wise and loving Father, thank you on behalf of all who are gathered here today. Thank you for the ability to be involved in useful work and for the honor of serving the community. I pray you give us wisdom to govern, a sense of the true need of our residents, confidence in what is good and fitting, the ability to work together in harmony. I pray for the agenda set before us tonight. Please give an assurance of what would please you and what would benefit those who live and work in and around our village of Hicksville. It is in your most blessed name I pray. Amen. Amen. We'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and welcome everybody tonight. It's nice to have you here. And we already lost some. May we have the roll call, please? Yeah. Here. 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 Thank you. I will call to order the annual joint meeting between the Hicksville Township Trustees and the Hicksville Village Council. May we have a roll call, please? Uh, the trustees. All right. Which contracts out? Okay. We need to update our committee appointments for the Hicksville Union Cemetery Board and. So we have a nomination for Zane Zedike to represent the Hicksville Township Trustees on the Cemetery Board. Are there any other nominations? No. Okay, we'll close the nominations. Roll call, please. Yes. Yes. And Council, please. Jones? Yes. Evelyn? Yes. Evelyn? Yes. Evelyn? yes. 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 Baker. Yes. So then I would like to recognize the entire slate of officers for the cemetery board, including Zane Zedek that was just appointed, Don Brown, Sheila Baker representing council, and Cheryl Miller as clerk for the record. Sound right to everybody? Yes. Would it be appropriate, solicitor, to just take a vote on that or Yes. Okay. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Is there any other business that the trustees or the council would like to discuss while we're all here together? Well, we'll have a motion to close the meeting then, I guess. The joint meeting. I'll make a motion. Close the meeting. I'll second. We have a first and a second. <coughs> Roll call, please, Cheryl. Prove me. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you for coming. I'd also like to thank the trustees for allowing Hicksville to choose a house in Hicksville Township for demolition. As it turns out, it's not the house that we had in mind is not going to work out because it's in foreclosure. And we actually couldn't find a second house at this point. So Seriously. But thanks for off allowing us to try to find a house to demolish on your behalf. Thank you, gentlemen, for your positions. We will go on to the 
April 18th council meeting minutes. Oh. Solicitor Essex, do we need to vote to amend the agenda tonight? Cheryl yes. brought us amend the agenda tonight, so would someone please make a motion to Actually, before, before they do that, I, there was another, make sure I get the right. Yeah, the red, oh, let me see. Yeah, the resolution 2016-06, which is something that Kent requested regarding EMHT, which I think was, I don't know if it was printed off. I passed it around, but I'd ask the first reading of that to be put on the agenda as amended. Okay. So, did we have a motion and a second to... Motion. Jones made ah. a motion to accept the amended agenda and Hadley said for the roll call, please. Yes. 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 Thank you. Now, may we have approval of the April 18th meeting minutes, please? In the Architectural Review Board, the uh, third line from the bottom, it suggests that I questioned who would decide on the signs. As I recall, I, re I questioned who was going to pay for the signs, not who was going to decide. Okay. What was the answer to that question? We are. Okay. As I recall. And if there are no other... Well, there's two options there. We can or can involve me alone, either way. But it's still coming. And one more chance and the kids can bring all that to us. Right. Closer. But if there are no other amendments to the uh, minutes from April 18th, I would make a motion that we accept them with the correction. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. Are there any other questions or corrections? Roll call, please. Yes. 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 <coughs> Thank you. You have the bills in your packet. I would accept a motion to approve the bills. Anything I got it. Go ahead, Jim. I was wondering about the uh, building inspector's telephone bill. It's seven. Why is it so much more than everybody else's? Why is it so much more than the building inspector's telephone bill? Seventy-two, and everybody else is one twenty. Well, well, for one thing, if she looks at the water, sewer, street, and refuge, they're twenty dollars each. Yeah, that's, that's probably that's all. That's like <coughs> that's like a Kent's divided up between departments, and and like the building inspector has his own telephone, his own entire bill that's not shared with anybody okay. else. A seventy-two dollar bill is more typical of a telephone bill. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mick. Unless you're going to close it. No, I just had one one question. Go ahead, please. The mayor giveaways. Uh, we went to a company called the National Pen Company. I assume we're buying pens from somebody for for um, giveaways, and I'm all for that. However, I just was curious if we uh, sought local a local company or companies before we went to uh, a different. Those are actually notepads um, like we had in the past. When you flip up the top and it's got little colored um, sticky notes on the inside. And we ordered them from the same company we ordered them from in the past. Okay. And I was just curious. So there was just a special deal that came through from the same company. So we ordered them. a couple months ago. Question. Why are we paying uh, for these different internet lines? 
for fire and EMS, $101.23. I thought because we allowed people on our tower that we got everything for free. Well, I think we I asked him a couple meetings ago, and he said it was because of a tablet they had, but can't they change that? No, they have tablets in their trucks that they need Wi-Fi for that is different from what we get for free from MetaLink. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Because I have a... And both of them do that, both one and... Yeah. I, I didn't know if that was just for each one of them. Uh, I have a computer in my truck, and I don't have anything special. <coughs> Unfortunately, there's no fire personnel to ask you right now, so. Yeah. Maybe. Yes, we'll get that bill again next month. Maybe old Kent, my buddy, could do a follow-up on that. I was not. I mean, don't hold me to this because I, I don't get involved with them, but. Didn't they have to have a special a tablet software, tablet. though, too, for something that they do? I they do have a special software, In the back too. of my mind, because I thought they had to sign a contract or something like that. Okay. I, was just, I can't keep track. But. Me and a couple of others were just curious as to why we paid extra when we were... Cheryl, can ask me? <laughs> Check that out, will you, Cheryl, please? All right. <laughs> Now, if, if nobody has anything, I would move to approve it. There a motion to approve the bills. Do we have a second? Second. Roll call, please. You're right on them, secretary. Good second. Yep. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you. Do we have anyone here from the park board? It appears not. You have the meeting minutes in your packet. Can I ask a question, Mayor? You may. Uh, Kent, has uh, has Ward been down and, and did the uh, any any of the base work? They're supposed to come in first of this week. They're doing green, don't do that kind of Right. Um, I mean, what the notes have indicated is that they were they were going to pay the first week of May, and this is the first week of May, and I just wonder if they've even well, they're about to come in the first week of May. Okay. Okay. I went down there to that park board meeting Saturday morning, and it was packed. Good. No, I'm sorry, that was a Wednesday park board meeting last week, and it was, every drill was being used, every spot was taken. And, and it's like it's, after several months early spring. Well, it was literally it's don't start until this, this month, so yeah. there was people everywhere, very well used. <coughs> All right. Do you have uh, any report for the cemetery board? Um, they had one application for a mower, and he got a full-time job, so he didn't want to do it. So I think they're still... They had one more in mind, but I don't know. Yeah, they hired him. If someone's interested in mowing at the cemetery, who should they contact? Josh Metz. Sheila Baker. Zane Zedike. Zane Zedike. Don Brown. Don Brown. Cheryl Brown. Anybody? <laughs> Cheryl's the clerk, so. But I don't know. We've been looking. Nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to work. Is that Cheryl? No. Cheryl Miller. Miller. She's the clerk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. She took Don's place. That's a part time, correct? Yep. $10 an hour. 20 hours a week. I'm sure Josh will find some. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> he, he wasn't very pleased. He comes in contact with a lot of people. He'll find somebody. He's good. He takes real good care of it. He does look good. Very, yeah. He looks very nice. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Well, if there's <coughs> nothing else about the cemetery board, we will go on. It says here that there was a the splash pad committee met on April 26th. No minutes were turned in yet. I'll and just give a real brief on that. We still don't know who's doing what once we do it in the third. I mean, I, I mean that, there's no other way of phrasing it. Yeah. I haven't heard back from Amy if they got the money part figured out. 
yet. But we just had a real brief meeting just to discuss that mainly. What we're trying to figure out is whether to, whether it's going to be a rotary project or a village yeah, project, yeah. right? Yeah. And so that's kind of where they stand. Okay. So council committee reports. Ordinance committee met April, 20, April 18th. There's minutes in the packet. Does anyone have any questions about the ordinance committee meeting? We're meeting again. The ninth next Monday at 4:30, and we're going to discuss the open burning ordinance. Okay. Uh, so we're going to put something together. Okay. Thank you. Personnel committee met April 20th. There are minutes in the packet. Does anyone have any questions about the personnel committee meeting? Uh, committee did meet and Troy has brought two pieces of legislation to address this meeting. Uh, we made some, some uh, recommendations to the full council based upon Kent's desire to bump up the zoning inspector in pay and also to create a fourth pay grade within his, the departments he's responsible for. And, um, Troy does have those uh, in ordinance form so they can be voted on eventually. We also discussed that um, our solicitor Troy has been working without a contract and I'll take responsibility for, for that at least for the last year. And we met with Troy again today and we're going to gather a little bit more information and we're going to meet with Troy one more time and then come back to council with the proposal. And that's all I have. Thank you. Police, fire, and EMS met tonight prior to the council meeting. Is there anything that you would like to yes. tell us about the meeting? There will be recommendations forthcoming. Uh, the EMS situation with it being what it is with personnel as far as people being able to work shifts, they have a, a person that has agreed to come back. And uh, we'll do that as part of the um, department head report. If they aren't here, then I'll probably I'll make that recommendation. And I think you've been briefed. The committee was all in favor. Also, we'll have a recommendation from our police chief uh, forthcoming for a part-time officer. So. Okay. Thank you. Any questions from anyone regarding the police fire and EMS report? All right. We will go on to the administrator's report. Kent? Yeah, I've got a couple things here for the finish. Okay. Uh, I don't see nobody had a question as far as the brown and sun during the bill's part. Uh, not sure when Darren's going to get to that, but it'll be coming up here. We'll cover the water sewer stuff, I guess, when it comes to legislation. If people have questions. Uh, this morning I heard from the company that's going to be doing a restriping downtown. <coughs> weather permitting they're coming next Monday and Tuesday but they also need to have everything shut down for two days so it's going to be like having summer fest closures detours only it's going to be during the entire time they're working so anywho unless people want to change your mind on doing it oops. <laughs> I tell, I'm just telling you, I was against doing it the first time. I've got a bad feeling about rechanging it. But I don't know if Me too. But that's the plan at this point, next Monday, Tuesday. So I'll have to have somebody come in super early, close stuff off. So Zoom the restaurant people are going to be out of luck. I don't think you use your back door. I think uh, the downtown district will, will be fine. Uh, they're happy to see this change. So. I agree. Put a bleep in the paper with your article. They can't do one side. You got to do the whole thing while they come in, time-wise. He said it'll probably take a full day to get everything off, and then they'll need a full day to clean or to reapply stuff. All right. And then they didn't want to let have three traffic because they're going to have some big equipment. So okay. Anything else, Kent? No, not at the moment. All right. Thank you. 
Any questions for Kent that you haven't already asked? I'm going to do like we do for summer fest. I'll put them at Maine and Maple. They'll just have to use Smith. Hopefully they'll stay off the Maple fest because that's even tougher. If I can keep them on Smith to get back to Maine from every direction, that'll cut down on some of the answer. Okay. You're up, Mr. Okay. Essex. Uh, before I forget to when the fire chief a couple of meetings ago there was a discussion about the fire levy I'll ha I'll have that ordinance at the next meeting um, I've talked to him several times about putting that together and then us plenty of time to get it in before we got to certify it to the Board of Elections so uh, Cheryl I'll make a note to put that on the agenda for, for next time then the first piece of legislation I have is ordinance 2016-05, which is a second reading by caption only, an ordinance amending certain sections of the personnel manual, including the application, hiring, performance evaluation, resignation, insurance, vacation leave, and grounds for disciplinary actions and penalties. The only change from last time, which was suggested by Cheryl, is in the Exhibit D, the insurance section, the fifth paragraph down, um, the first sentence that talks about if a uh, village employee is elected discontinue dental health, uh, there was just a change to that to uh, add in the optional life insurance coverage. And then the election has to, to, to uh, not continue with it, has to happen during the open enrollment period or if a qualifying event occurs, like a divorce or something to that effect. So that's the only change in it from the last time was clarifying that language a little bit. And that should be, I think she, Cheryl, did you put that on everybody's desk? I know I emailed that to you. Okay. So that's reflected in that Exhibit E. Um, next is Ordinance 2016-06, an ordinance restructuring street, water, sewer, and refuse departments of the Village of Hicksville. This uh, is a first reading by caption only. This is what Kent had asked the committee about. Um, what I did is added a job classification agreed for laborer um, and then uh, adjusted the pay according to what Kent requested from the committee. And everybody may recall that this was on the back side of the <laughs> meetings administrative report. This very piece of legislation. Did we have and I know I talked to you about this, you and I can't together, but any job descriptions that... Well, we do. Yeah, I just didn't know if those were official or needed to be, I mean... Because I know at one time when we, we approved the job descriptions on the employees, but so if you <coughs> have something set up, it's fine with me. And that's why I'm just going to go through all three readings. And so. next would be Resolution 2016-05, a first reading by caption only, a resolution establishing a new pay rate for the part-time zoning inspector of the Village of Hicksville, Ohio. That, again, is part of what Kent asked the committee about and they recommended as far as the, a pay raise for the zoning inspector. And then the... Last piece of legislation is Resolution 2016-06, first reading by caption only. Resolution of the Village of Hicksville, Ohio, to enter into a contract with emh and Inc. to provide construction phase engineering services for implementation. I see a P was left out there. Yeah, a phase one. Typo. Yeah, typo. A phase one of the long-term control plan. And Kent has more information about that. Kent, do we need to pass this quickly? I think on... On this one, you can, if, if you want to waive the three but allow the 30 day period, it will still be. So it's not an emergency, but if you yeah, want to suspend I mean, the rules and waive the. So yeah, it's not a true emergency to the time on it. Okay. We probably should do that, shouldn't we? Yeah, I'd at least, if you want to leave the 30 day window, I mean, that's fine. Why do you want the window? Just, if you don't it's probably truly really not an emergency because we can get it in before before things are well, done. I, I, I was um, uh, suspend the rules. 
We have a motion by Mr. Beverly to suspend the rules. Second. Mr. Hadley Saganin. Roll call, please. Kretzky. Yes. 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 So second, third readings of Resolution 2016-06 by caption only. Resolution of the Village of Hicks, Ohio to enter into a contract with EMH&T, Inc. to provide construction phase engineering services for implementation of phase one of the long-term control plan. So moved. Second. Mr. Burkowski made the motion. Mr. Jones seconded. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 <laughs> And the only other thing I have is I gave Kent uh, before the meeting today about 20 of the easements that we need for other projects. There's a couple more that are left on the other side to finish up. But, um, Mike Bailey has been sent letters out and been in contact with some of those property <coughs> owners. And it sounds like nobody's complained too much or not. So um, he's going to go about getting those signed and everything so we can have them. Great. Nice to move ahead with that. That's all I have. All right. Thank you, Trey. <clears throat> Please, Chief Ballinger, do you have anything for us tonight? As Mr. Headley said earlier, I came to the police fire committee meeting tonight due to the fact that after the first year, we've lost two part-time uh, officers, and uh, this is Dan Federke. He came to our department requesting a job. He's been a police officer for 31 years, uh, 17 uh, full-time and 13 part-time in the village of uh, West Unity. So he's got his schooling, and uh, I, I think with the council's approval, I'd like to put him on part-time. So, I would make the recommendation there that we go on the police chief's recommendation to hire Daniel part-time. I'll make that recommendation. <coughs> Second. You have made a motion, right, Mike? Well, I mean, mm -hmm. it's the mayor. Right on it. <laughs> well, we got it done. <laughs> I will make the recommendation that we hire Mr. Frederick for a part-time police officer. I believe uh, Mike Headley made the motion right. to accept the mayor's recommendation. And Mike Beth seconded. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 With all the appropriate pre-employment. Correct, yes. Pending physical drug screen and background check okay background check is, has all been done I'm sure so okay. welcome aboard welcome good luck be safe thank you and yeah. I thank you I would just like to update you we, over the past two weeks we've had four burning complaints uh, two of them was recreational they were having a uh, wiener house for the kids and the two that was not recreational the one was cleaning up her property and she had leaves lumber stuff like that she didn't know she couldn't burn uh, she had some plywood in there the officer asked her to put it out she put it out with no problem the other guy was over on high street he uh, was burning more or less uh, like an old fence and once he found out he couldn't do it it was the fire was almost out when we got there so that's that's what the it's all entirely in the backyard I shouldn't like <laughs> No, <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Can we put anything on the utility card to just remind people or something? Or we can have the messages on our utility mm -hmm. cards anywhere. We, we hope we're going to meet again soon, and we, we have some other ordinances from some other communities, and we hope to be able to tighten this thing up, which is going to make your job and your guys' job a whole lot easier. Like the size of the fire. And the exactly, place. exactly. So, uh, and, and it's our goal is to make it, Fair and safe for everybody, but we were, most importantly, I think, is to make you guys' job easier. So when you see something, it's not going to take three hours for you to determine whether, well, what have we got burned? You know what's in there? And yeah, it's going to be yeah. short and sweet. We hope, right? While still allowing people to have a campfire, we're going to make that decision. And 
er every complaint I went on, I've never got any grief from the residents. They said, well, we didn't know we couldn't do that. And I said, you know, that's our fault. I it has to be clean firewood. You know, I think we need to really greasy pallets because you know, you know, there's every year we put something in the paper about the, the tall grass or weed ordinance, and I think every year we ought to do the same thing for for these kind of circumstances, which clarifies it. I don't think that's a bad idea myself. But not everybody buys a Crescent and or the Tribune, and you get new people move to town, and right. Just yeah, some people don't know it. But so we could do like Obamacare. We could pass a law that everybody has to buy a tribute. Does anybody have any questions? Any other questions for Chief? All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Does anyone know if uh, the fire chief was going to bring something up tonight? Because it seemed like he was. Our chief was going to bring up through the EM oh. S chief that they have a person that they would like to recommend to the mayor uh, as a uh, to get back on the uh, squad, on the EMS squad, and that would be John Elwood. So as I will act as the EMS chief and recommend that to you, mayor, and I won't get the other thing in that oil. Is is he? Um, all up to the state <coughs> with all of his training. Yeah, they just take time to do his drug and from what we had our little meeting. But his EMS certifications and all that stuff is good. Good. Right? Okay. The committee was all for that, but yeah, we're, since they aren't here to make the recommendation, you he's currently running, running now, Mick. That's I'm here, but I'm really happy to see some of our EMTs returning to help our <coughs> squad and give them some relief and new ones, of course. Although I think we don't we're. We're down to fewer in the class than what we started with. First two. Yeah. So. But that seems to happen every time we have a class. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully we'll get those two with us. Well, I would recommend that we welcome John Elwood back to the department. I'll make a motion on the mayor's recommendation for John. And I would second. Roll call, please. Yes. Yes. Baker. Yes. Beverly. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Trying to think if the fire department had any, or EMS had anything else going on lately. Scott didn't speak to that. No. He didn't say okay. That. All right. We will go on to the fiscal officer's report. Chill. We have the month date tax report. I don't think I have the mayor's court report. You want mine? Uh, just like to look at it. Thank you. Maybe I do one down. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have two? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at this one then. All right. Okay. Thank you, Cheryl. Do you have anything else that you would like to address, Councilor? Cheryl's doing a great job, by the way, taking over my job. She's doing it very efficiently. If you do notice in the meeting comment, in case any residents ask you anything about it, they're getting rid of all the analog channels to it. will be in after June 21st. That concerns me. I have a lot of analog channels. <laughs> Since I just have basic TV. <laughs> Is it in there how many subscribers they have here? I was looking for it. I used to have to call Esther Viles to beg, beg the information out of them. be interesting. If I'm 
So I have a file in the way I put all the franchise fees. I we used to get the pay that's quarterly, and I would always write at the top how many customers there were. So it's been a while since they go monthly now. Thanks, Joe. Huh? <laughs> I'd just like to point out that um, Thursday, May 5th, is National Day of Prayer, and uh, I know Defi down at Defiance there's something going on that everybody's invited to for the first 300 people, but here in Hicksville, I was told that the First Church of Christ Sanctuary will be open on Thursday, May 5th, at three different times during the day to go in. The first time is 6.30 to 8 a.m., and then noon to 1.30, and 6 to 8 p.m. So you get a chance to stop by the First Church of Christ for National Day of Prayer, please do so. I'd like to thank the village employees for the great job they're doing. Everybody's nice to see them out and about and getting the town spruced up. Those uh, sidewalk railings at the Bioducks really look nice. They spent several days on those. And, uh, the employees are doing a great job, as usual. And I received an email last week that I just wanted to share because I think you heard that the Hicksville Community Memorial Hospital is going to be cooking food for the uh, Hicksville Summer Food Service Program that we do at the park. We've done the last few years. And they really had to jump through a lot of hoops. You, it would be amazing, you think, in a hospital kitchen having to jump through a zillion hoops with the Department of Agriculture to provide food for our kids for the summer program. But I got an email that the dates for the summer food service program is going to be June 13th to August 5th, and they'll be closed July 4th. Now that's Monday through Friday. Yeah, the times are 145 to 1230 at the Hicksville Rotary Pavilion. <coughs> They're trying to get the word out to the families and children in Hicksville. They need volunteers to help serve the food and provide fun activity. They like to do a craft after lunch and maybe a swim at the pool or something. So if um, anybody in the community would volunteer to help with that, as they say, many hands make light work. It would be nice to be able to count on some volunteers down there to pass out food and stuff. And that is all I have. Do we have anybody in the audience that has anything they'd like to say? We're glad you're here. Anybody else? I, I've got a couple of things down here. Okay. Number one, um, on Mies Argon, just past the railroad underpass, there is a rock. And on that rock is a plaque that commemorates the three boys that Hicksville lost during World War I in uh, 1918. And I love everything that the Beautification Committee does, but last year they planted some really, really tall flowers right in front of the plaque and you couldn't see it. Okay. And, and um, you know, we lost three kids from that one street in that one battle, and I just hate to see that negated by, by you know, what, what the beautification committee is doing. So, and, and I also wanted to let you know that, that the anniversary, the 100 year anniversary of that was going to happen during your watch, Diane. And it sure would be nice to see our community do something special for that, that situation. Um, and lastly, I don't know if you guys remember, but a year ago, we had some really, really hot days. And we made a decision as a group to open the pool free after the temperature hit a certain mark. Uh, unfortunately, we were working backwards because the temperature had already hit the mark before we made any decisions. And I would like to see us be a little bit more proactive this year and, and have a temperature point that if it gets to that, that mark that we could open the pool free for the kids in the community. It's just my personal opinion. Good point. The way things have been going, what do you think? At 50, 
That's a great idea, Mick. Yeah, I think last year it was 90 degrees. Do we need to just, degrees. I mean, that park board decision? We made it last year. Oh, okay. Rob? So I don't care who makes it, but I'll make it again this year. Yeah. Yep. I think it'd be nice to do it proactively. Yeah. So yeah. Make it a motion then. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know if we need any legislation on that. Make it a motion. I mean, that's probably, unless you want to do something ceremonial. Well, it would be a good temperature. During the month of August, you could have a lot of free days. Well, we, we, at what some point, I, mean, I, I don't recall, but it, <clears throat> we, we made a decision based on, and we weren't the only community that did that. I was, was 95 or 95. 93. Yeah. 90, have a lot of 90 days. We do. It's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm not opposed to making it, you know, making a recommendation to full council that if the temperature reaches 95, that we would open our village pool free to the community. I would second that. Roll call, please, Cheryl. Sounds? Yes. Headley? Yes. Hart? Yes. Beverly? Yes. Baker? Yes. Kaprowski? Yes. Great idea, Mick. We have our fire chief back. Do you, is there anything you'd like to go up to the podium and talk about? Since the MS chief isn't back yet. He did take care of that. He took care of that. I, I, I uh, <laughs> made it uh, okay, look like she was here. I didn't have nothing on the fire side. Okay. Any other questions? Any questions? I was going to ask that wireless since he's here. Oh, other wireless. See, sure, we're getting moving. That's true. Explain to us why you have to have and I'm not talking you down, I, I'm just curious, why do you have to have a special Wi-Fi that that Metalink can't provide to you? And what do you, you can't just get a card? We have tablets that just build in. Any card, then we're going to get laptops. I would like to tell everyone about, remind everyone about the annual plant sale that the Beautification Committee is putting on this weekend. It is Friday morning, May 6th, from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m., and Saturday from 9 until 1. <coughs> this is Mother's Day weekend, so that will give you a great opportunity to go out and pick your mother up or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or anybody a whole bunch of flats of flowers anything else i do just uh people using the park here we're doing the uh repaving of the park street just be patient um the, the road needs it and we need to get in there and get it done get it done right so with all these rain outs and everything else going on i know the, the school's having a lot of rescheduling going on and just be patient, let them get their job done, and have the park uh, look nice when they're out of there. Motion to adjourn, if you so desire to. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Roll call, please. Krasky? Yes. Baker? Yes. Everly? Yes. Park? Yep. Jones? Yes. Edward? Yes. Thank you, everyone.